In today's episode of Budget TV, we're going to be talking about the new Textron Denali, which is an interesting aeroplane. It's a turboprop, single engine built by Cessna, which is famous for building jets, but also for building small train aircraft. I mean, the first aeroplane I flew I soloed in was a Cessna 150 back in 1986. So I'm fond of the Cessna brand. And it's interesting because the Cessna Textron Denali is going to be taking on the Pilatus PC-12, which has been dominating the single engine turboprop market for years. Swiss built, very, very reliable, doing very well on the market. And they've, you know, improved it over time. Time. But this aeroplane is going to be certified in 2026. So they're just finishing the test flying right now, they're taking the aeroplane around the world to show people. And what are the features? Now, for many years, the dominant engine for turboprops was the P uh, PT6. The Textron guys have done is they've teamed up with General Electric, who have built a brand new engine, which is why this aeroplane is taking time to be certified. When an aeroplane gets certified, they have to certify the airframe, they have to certify the avionics, they have to certify the engine. So when you're building a new aeroplane, if you already incorporate an engine that's already been certified, an avionics that's been certified, it just costs you less to certify the whole aeroplane and get it on the market than if you're doing something completely new. Well, what they've done here is they've come up with this new engine, which is 1300 horsepower catalyst engine built by German Electric. Uh, apparently it's a very, very good engine. It's going to do very well. Performance will, will be great. What they've done with the Denali, they put the, av the avionics up front is the Garmin 3000, which I think is one of the best avionics suites out there with the magic button you can press if the pilot suddenly passes out you can press the button and the airplane will land on its own so that's a great feature compared to the bc12 where the avionics are not as easy to use as the garmin 3000 the garmin 3000 gives this airplane the edge and that magic button but if we look at the cabin it's nice and spacious the cargo door in the denali is slightly bigger than the pc12 and the other great feature that this airplane has it has lavatory at the back which is externally serviceable so it's a flush toilet basically and it's got a special door you can shut and do your business while you're in flight. 1600 nautical mile range, 285 knots, cruise speed, maximum altitude 31,000 feet, nice cabin ambiance, very good design. They've taken sort of experience from the design of the Citation Latitude and they built those seats and that kind of interior feel into the airplane. Costs around about 6 million, depending on how many extra features you want in the airplane. Someone could say, well, you know, for $6 million, I could buy a pre-owned jet, which is true. But, you know, this type of airplane appeals to certain people. It can land on grass. It can land on very short airstrips. So, you know, if you're flying, your range where you need to go is within, I'd say, 600 nautical miles. This is a great airplane you need to look at. What do you think? Who's going to win the race between the Denali and the PC-12? And that's all from Vanessa Polly here on Bizit TV. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.